it's a bird. It's a plane. Ah, uh, no, that's actually just the bird. Never mind then. Oh, holy shit, what's that? Turns out birds are making music today and that's fine by me. I mean, sure, birds making music. Good, but how? How is that possible? Tell me, Wanglen. How is that possible? I need to know. I need, I need to know. Tell me, Wanglen. How is that possible? Please, I need answers. I need the, the code. I need images and I can't even. I mean, music, please, but I, 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 please. Bad music. All of this magic was in fact made possible by local musician programmer Beep Boop Girl Spacey, who graciously spends her time making these little MIDI generators and rap toys and music tools that my tiny mind can't even comprehend yet. Or maybe never, but you know, I'm gonna play around with it anyway. Bad music. I thought this sounded really fun and something I'd enjoy playing around with, so I'm gonna record myself making noises with it and document all my findings along the way. Anyway, here it is. Bird music. So this is the little web tool I was talking about. It's called Bird MIDI and it's available on birds.spacey.me. It's work in progress, don't forget, it's like a quite new tool and yeah, generative music from birds on wires. Anyway, I'm gonna press on start and here you can see I can select a MIDI output. On my end there are multiple output options, but those aren't quite working. Uh, so basically if I want to output the MIDI signals from this little bird MIDI tool to any DAW, like in my case FL Studio, I will need to set up some external third-party loopback MIDI applications, plugins, whatever. I'm gonna show you that a bit later in this video, but for now I'm just gonna use browser th browsers Bra browser synth. I'm gonna keep this image. You can upload other images, but uh, this one's fine. And then just add a new string. And you can see here's a little like string and it's, it has a little round circle. This is like the circle that detects the birds. Uh, right now it's playing nothing because it's not properly like set up. You can change the radius of this detector circle thing. And you can see it's already like punching a few weird notes into our ears. It sounds a bit weird because the note is super low. I'm gonna change it from C minus two, whatever this is, to C4. There we go. If you want more strings at the same time, we can just click on new string and it'll add a new one. Move the strings around so we get different, different weird, weird blobs of noise. There we go. I'm gonna take this to, I don't know, C5. Right now it sounds a bit like shit because we're using super simple uh, waveforms and like to change that we want to install Loop MIDI by Tobias Ericsson. It's free, you can just click on here and do this and install it. Click on all these things and... Uh, once you're done installing that you get this little window which you don't need to change anything and it's just super simple to set up. You can just make a new MIDI part for your computer. I, I just type in Ubu and press in plus and it works and there we go. Now I'll keep this one open in the background and go back to Bart MIDI. You need to uh, restart the website for it to detect the new MIDI output or like MIDI parts or something. I'm gonna click in Ubu. There we go. I'm gonna set up the same thing again like similar settings and all that and you can see it's already working already detecting the, the little bird tails there we go and now i'm just gonna open up fl studio fl studio already like opens up with this little uh, midi setup window where i can select uvu as my input device yeah. i'm gonna enable uvu and just you know have some fun it's massive why not you can use like any instrument at this point or like any synthesizer any instrument library or, or whatever so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna just make it a very simple little thingy Give it some reverb. There we go. Oh yeah, of course, I'm, I need to uh, up the pitch of this, the MIDI note. It should sound like this. Beautiful. Yeah, that's nice. I'm gonna add an, a second string now. C4. And I'm gonna pull this down here onto this little Y. I'm just gonna have fun you now. Let's have some fun. Let 
Like this is only where the fun begins because we can impart our own little pictures into here. We don't have to take baths as an input. I'm just gonna look for some random image that has like some cool contrast in it and uh, like for example, oh yeah, this image of uh, me. This is me when I sleep. I look like this when I sleep. This is just a photo of me. It's gonna have some fun here, you know, just place the lines in some weird ways and have some fun. As you can hear, my settings are a bit wonky and this makes the noises a bit granular and like weird and plucky and... Um, okay, I'll be right back. I need to, uh, I need to, uh, okay, yeah, um, I need to leave my room and look for some, look for some, looking for stuff that I can throw onto the ground to make weird contrast. Okay, what about, what about cables? It's just... Yeah, I'm just gonna let these out a bit and do a little fun wonky art in here. And I'm just gonna take this back. No one will notice I ever took this. There we go. There we go. And back into my room. Yeah. Line up with my monitor and here we go. Ah, ah. Okay, I am back and I'm just gonna pull up this little image that we've got here. There we go. The, the, the positions around a bit, just so for a bunch of interesting and wonky lines that intersect in weird ways and then we'll just see how, how this works out. But I am, I'm sure I'll need to... Uh, oh yeah. I need to adjust the, the values definitely. Select light values. Now we've got like a weird image generating weird music. We can make this even even wonkier with more lines, you know. We can just add a bunch of lines. I'm gonna take another string. It's like similar settings for this one as well. This shall be uh, G4, why not? And I'll speed this up a bit. Yeah, I like this. There's never enough strings in this whole mess. So I'm just gonna do more of that. Sure, why not? There we go. This is nice, isn't it? It's just a nice little wonky tool to make wonky MIDI and also we can just record this in FL Studio if you want. I'm just gonna do this and that. I'm just gonna play this. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't maybe... Hello? Yeah, I, I think FL Studio just crashed. Oh yeah, that sounds awesome. Basie, what have you done? I'm just gonna close this and try to... Okay, I'll just... Uh, I'll just um, let's close this. Okay, it's over now. This was a fun little experiment. Anyway, if you enjoyed all of this garbage, consider subscribing to my channel or leaving a like or... No, check out Spacey's Twitter account where she occasionally posts about her new MIDI generators or other funky music rap toys and a bunch of cool stuff generally. And as always, I'd like to thank my bazillion patrons who are making this possible, who are making this garbage possible and... Hi there, future editing wrangler here. What I was trying to say is, I would like to thank all my patrons for supporting me by just throwing coins at me. All those patrons, you know? All, all you people who are supporting me, which are Tobin, that's my jam, great, Christy Kamori, Zygal M, Captain Babs, Anna Koek, Lettle, Tatana, Misty Burgess, Sofia Figueroa, Foxy Vivi, Annabelle, Gray Figment, Rachel Ray Mills, Jane the Human, Ariel, Sara, Catherine, Windu, Mikkel Armstrup, Benjamin Burns, Teddy Edwards, Petera Dive to the Heart, Robin Song, Alex, Jay Manning, Flower Gothic, Ram, Aris Felschman, and Mad MML Lucas. Again, thank you so, so much for all the support and yeah, I'll see you in, in the next video, I hope. Okay, goodbye. And the, the bass. 
Um, anyway, I'm gonna disappear into nothingness now. Uh, future editing Wangalan, please make me disappear now, like in a very fancy way. I'm just gonna disappear into into the green screen until all, only my head is left. Voila, I made a special effect. And if I couldn't be bothered to to animate this, then um, 